11 inch macbook air a1370 and a1465 years 2010 through 2015 system fan replacement make sure that the mac is completely powered off close the lid and flip it over we're going to need a proprietary apple's star shaped pentalope screwdriver bit Start in the top left and remove the short screw. The next two screws are slightly longer. Keep an eye on that. And then the remaining seven screws are all short. With the screws removed, we can go ahead and just pop the back panel right up. Before we do any work, let's go ahead and disconnect that battery. Pry underneath it with your fingernail or a plastic tool and just pop it out of the way like so. Let's remove the I.O. data cable by simply prying it away on each end. We're going to need a T5 screwdriver bit. Now let's remove the three T5 screws that are securing the fan. One in the top right, one in the top left of the fan, and then on the bottom left we'll need to remove the screw that's securing the ssd and then tilt the ssd up and wiggle it out of its socket that will expose the connector with the eyelash that will flip up and now we can remove the fan reassembly putting the fan connection into its socket and then clipping down the eyelash is next Put it in, all the way in the socket, align it with the screw holes and secure the top right screw. Now secure the bottom and then secure the top left T5 screw. Reinsert the SSD at an angle. It's uh, keyed so you won't be able to get it wrong. Go ahead and secure the uh, screw to mount it to the logic board. Now we can put back the data cable, click it in on the logic board, and then on the I.O. board. Reconnect the battery to the logic board. Make sure it's nice and firm and clicked in. We can now place back the cover, align it, and give it a nice firm push. Put back the two longer screws in the middle top first, and now secure the rest of the eight shorter screws thank you for watching help support this channel by subscribing